Welcome to Electra Online. Before we start analyzing all seven of the factors in the boat plots, let's take a look at what we mean by the standard form. And we kind of have a general representation of what standard form of the transfer function looks like. It will contain a constant in the, in the numerator. It may contain zeros at the origin. It may contain simple zeros and it may contain quadratic zeros in the numerator. In addition to that, it may contain poles at the origin and it may contain single, simple, simple poles and quadratic poles all in the denominator. Now, typically a transfer function doesn't have all of those, it will have some of those. So here we have a simple example of what a transfer function may look like. Now we're going to place it in the standard form to get you a feel for what that might look like. Well, first of all, notice that we do have a zero in the numerator, or I would say yeah, zero at the origin in the numerator. We have a constant, but that's not the value of the constant yet because we first need to manipulate the denominator to make it look like their standard form. Before we can do that, we're going to factor the denominator. Of course, we picked numbers just right so it's easy to factor. So we can say that this is equal to 50,000 s in the numerator divided by, and so we would have an s plus 5 times an s plus 500. Notice when we multiply these, we get 2,500. When we add them, we get 505. Now, this doesn't look like this. So what that means is we're going to have to divide this by 5. We need to divide this by 500. Of course, if we do that to the denominator, we must also do that to the numerator. So what we're going to do here is we're going to divide, um, let's see here. Yeah, we're going to divide this by 5, and we're going to divide this by 500. So we can turn this into the standard form of a simple, a simple pole. And of course, that means that we also have to multiply this by 1 over 5, times 1 over 500. All right, um, what does that look like now? So this is equal to, that's 1 over 2,500 goes into 50,000, looks like 20 times. So in the numerator we get 20s divided by, in the denominator we'll get s over 5 plus 1 multiplied times s over 500 plus 1. Now notice that in this case, we can deduce that we have k equals 20, that's the constant gain. We have a, um, we have a zero at the origin, zero at the origin because of this. Then over here, notice we have a pole at, um, at omega equals 5, and we have a pole at omega equals 5. 500. So now there's those four values that we need to concern ourselves with if we're going to draw a boat plot. That means we have a boat plot for the constant gain, we have a boat plot for the zero at the origin, I'm missing an I there, origin. We're going to have a pole at omega equals 5 and a pole at omega equals 500. Notice that the slope per decade for the zero would be plus 20, minus 20, minus 20 for the slope per decade for the poles. And of course, that's what we then would apply if we then start drawing the boat plot. But we're going to show you how to do that later. At this point, you want to see that generally any transfer function needs to be placed somehow in the standard form of the, um, of the transfer function so we can draw the boat plot. So we took what we had here, we factored the denominator, we then divided these two by 5 and by 500 to put those two in the standard form for the, for the simple pole. That means we have to divide the numerator by 2500 to get the constant k equals 20. We have the 0 at the origin and the two poles at the two values for p. And that is how we take a transfer function and place it in the standard form.